Okay, let us look at the tadrib. At tadrib. At tadrib means which means exercise. At tadrib is exercise. At tadrib it can be training as well. Uh, yeah, like when you train uh, sports, you say tadrib. Uh, that is training. At tadrib exercise. Al awal the first. Al awal. So we say awal. Uh, awal is the first. So at tadrib al awal the first exercise. So what is the first exercise? Okay, what is the instruction? Here it says da. Alamata tick. So this tick is sahih. Sahayaha. Which means correct. Sahih. Sad hayaha. Sorry, my sad looks like a ha. So that is my sad. A bit rounder. Okay, sad, yeah. Da alamata sahih. Put the symbol of correct. Put the correct symbol. Da alamata sahih. Fi al makan al munasib. Fi al makan al munasib. In the suitable place. Fi in munasib suitable makan place. Okay. So they give you uh, these columns. Okay, they give you the words, kalima, words. They give you two columns for alif lam al qamariya and alif lam al shamsiya. So you look at the word, you go through the word, and then just tick here whether it is qamariya or shamsiya. And of course, you have to read that word. Then only you know whether this is qamariya and shamsiya. Kama fil misal, kama as fi in. Misal example. So as in this example. So this word al-misal means example. Okay, let us look at the first word or the first kalima. Kalima means word. Okay, the first word is this. So let us read and automatically we know whether it is Qamariya or Shamsiya. Yes, the word is ab. Ab. Previously we have learned this word. Anybody remembers what is ab, abun, ab? When we learn about the Tanwin, we have we learn some vocabulary. Ab, a father. So now you have Alif Lam. You want to say the father. So how do you read uh, this Alif Lam? Yes. How do you read this Alif Lam? Yes. Al Abu. Al Abu. Good. So since you read it with Al sound, Komaria or Shamsia? Komaria. Komaria, of course. That is why here they take Komaria, right? Because you read Al-Abu. Good. Next word. Okay. This word is Jaddu. Jaddu, which means grandfather. Jaddun, a grandfather. Now, they, they want to say the grandfather, they add Alif Lam. How do we read the word now? Yes, Majid. Try Majid. How do you read this word? Jaddu, you add alif lam. Anjantu. Again, a. Ah. Try again. I don't hear the your the the lam. Do you read the lam or without no lam sound? Anjantu. Ajaddu, is that what you read? Ajaddu. Yes, sir. Ajad. Oh, okay. Ajadu. All right. This letter, if you look at the list, this is not the Qamariyah letter. Uh, sorry, this is not the Shamsiya letter. This is the Qamariyah letter. So if this is the Qamariyah letter, you should read the lam. Uh, so try again. So it's Amjad. Aljadu. Yes, correct. Aljadu. Uh, yes, we don't say Ajadu. In this case, we say Al Jaddu, so Jim. So you need to look at the list again. Jim, or oh, this is what Al or Aj, or oh, this is Al. So that is why we read with Al Jaddu. So this is what Komaria or Shamsia. When you say Al, uh, Al Jaddu, Komaria. Yes, good. Kamaria. Al Jaddu is Komaria. Good. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Now next word. 
Uh, okay, yes, Musfiq, try this word. This word is sama. 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 Now we want to add alif lam. Al. So how do you read this word, Musfiq? Sama. Then you add alif lam. Al sama. Al sama. Okay, let me check. Al sama. Okay. I go back to the list of uh, the letters. Syamsia and Komaria. Where do you find this letter seen? Is it under Komaria or under Syamsia? Ah, go back. Go back to the notes. Okay, so let me see. It is under? Uh, Syamsia or under Komaria? The letter seen. Syamsia. Samsia. So since it is Samsia, how do you, how should you read again? You cannot read Al uh, because this is Samsia letter. So how do you read? Skip the lam sound. You go to the next letter. Asama. Asama. Yes, good. Okay. Asama. Okay, good. So this is not the Komaria, but this is the Samsia. Okay, yes. So we need to try, yeah? you need to try on your own. So is this Shamsia, is this Kamaria? Okay, now let us look at the next word. The word is Shajarah, 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 a tree. A tree is Shajarah. So now we add Alif Lam, you want to say the tree. Okay, yes, Azwan. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, read the word. Uh... The word is Shajarah. Now we, are, we want to add Alif Lam. Ashajara. Yes, correct. Ashajara. Okay, and not Al Shajara. So since you read Ashajara, what is this? Shamsia, Komaria? Uh, uh, Shamsia. Shamsia. Thank you. Yes, Shamsia. Good. Okay. Next word. Uh, the word, next word is Kalam. 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 A pen. Kalam. Now you want to say the pen. You add alif lam. Okay. So how do you read the word now? Uh, Majid. Kalam. You add alif lam. Yes, Majid. Al kamar. Al kalam. Good. Yes. Al kalam. Yeah. So this is okay. So what is this? Kamaria, Shamsia. You, you read the lamb sound? It should be Komaria. Yes, Komaria. All right, okay. Now, the last word. The last word in this exercise. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, the word is Munafik. Munafik. Uh, Munafik, a hypocrite. Munafik. Okay, now you add Alif Lam. Yes, ma uh, Adam. Adam, yes, Adam. How do you read the word? The word is Munafik. Now we add Alif Lam. Munafik. Again, the, the first part, I, I didn't hear you clearly. A? Al Munafik. Al Munafik. Yes, good. Al Munafik. Good. So since you read the Lam, what is this? Komaria or Shamsiya? Komaria. Komaria, good. Okay. So this is okay, the, the exercise on Komaria and Shamsiya. So you practice, al, 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 so you will know automatically. Next time when you see this letter, you know this is Al, this is An, this is Al, this is As, this is As and so on. Yeah. Okay. So this is about the Komaria and Shamsiya. All right. Okay. Now, the next exercise. The next exercise, this is also about Komaria and Shamsiya, but this time, uh, we have uh, okay, uh, not only for Alif Lam, this is about the Tashkil, this is about the vowels. So we have learned all of the vowels that you need to know, right, in Arabic. So in this exercise, At-Tadrib Uthani, At-Tadrib Uthani, At-Tadrib exercise, Uthani the second. So in this second exercise, what they want you to do is, Istame, listen. Stamit, listen, because I'm going to read the words, okay? So you listen to uh, my recitation. What but, wa, it but, wa is N, 
both both this part is and 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 uh, please ensure ensure that the word al kalima please ensure the word what they mean by ensure the word here is make sure you you write all the vowel bit tashkil so they want you to write the tashkil tashkil is the vowels not not just the vowels sorry all these symbols whether you have fatha kasra dhamma sukun shadda what else tanwin okay so these are all the vowels that you need to put uh, above the letter so i will, i'm going to read you just put the vowel here yeah? let, let us check whether the vowel that you put are correct or not okay and then they said summa then ayin determine then determine now are the type of alif lam so what kind of alif lam is that is that shamsia is that qamaria so that is the second task so basically now you have two tasks listen and write all these symbols okay and second we decide whether it is shamsia or qamaria all right so let us uh, look at uh, the first kalima so this is the word for kalima which means word in arabic we call it kalima okay, in bahasa melayu you also we also call it kalima okay to say word okay so al kalima the word is this right so this is what you will see in the in magazine in newspaper on the internet you you will you will never see all of these vowels uh, in only in textbooks that you will see this ka li ma but in uh, magazine newspaper internet and even in higher level of textbook you will never see all the a e fatha kasra dhamma all right so for beginners yes you need that vowel but later on you can slowly remove all of this vowel you do not need that vowels anymore because you already knew how to read that word yeah right so let us look at the first example so this one okay can can anybody read this one uh, I, i just i just want to uh, just try just try to read this one without any vowel can you guess by looking at some clue of course alif lam you already know right al uh, alim al a alim al alim al alim okay haifa tried okay good so i first said al alim yes yes you have that word al alim okay who would like to try <laughs> other than al alim what else can you read this word abdul rahman okay what what about this word other than al alim uh, al alam al alam okay good thank you yes these are the two ways of reading this word okay now i'm i'm going to read the word again i want you to write the vowels yeah okay first the word is al alim al alimu okay i will read until the end of the letters so put all the vowels and then i will write uh, the correct one you can check whether yours is correct or not al alimu al alimu dan al alimu okay this is how we write al alimu al alimu okay al alimu yes al alimu or you can just say al alim okay what is al alim al alim is a person do you know what what is the meaning of al alim i believe in your languages you also use this word a lot al alim muspeak do you use this word in your in bangladeshi uh, uh, i'm not sure sir do you have this word alim alim, alim yes no sir in our language we don't ah yes in your language no sir we don't are you sure you don't use this I, word <laughs> we use it as a name the ah oh you use it as a name okay all okay, right so okay 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 malaika in Kash kashmir kashmiri okay haifa i will i'll come to you after this so in in kashmiri language um ah yes as one maybe mm. uh, some someone with a lot of knowledge a lot of knowledge someone yeah. who someone who has lot of knowledge okay thank you yeah. as one okay so someone who has lot of okay haifa what do you understand by this word in malay what do you what do you understand when people say alim or alim 
Uh, what, what is alim? Yes, orang alim. Uh, someone who is very pious. Very someone religious. is pious. Okay, someone who is pious, someone who is religious. Okay, that is your understanding of the word alim. Uh, Abdul Rahman. Abdul Rahman. Yes, sir. Yes, so what, what, you're, you're from which part in Indonesia? Indonesia, uh, in Java. Oh, you are, you are from Java. Okay, so mm. Indonesia, when people say alim, what does it mean? Uh, like, maybe like Ustaz Alim, uh, <laughs> alim, alim Ulama. Uh, okay, what, so what, what does it mean when you say alim in Indonesia? Or alim what? maybe uh, uh, someone doing the uh, correct of Islam learning oh. maybe. Okay, thank you. All right. So sometimes when, of course, in our languages, we do take words from other languages, such as from Arabic, right? But the problem is that when we take these languages, they, we, we, we tend to change the original meaning. So later, the meaning, the original meaning is no longer there. So for example, the word alim just now. So that, the reason I, I want to ask here is I want to see in your languages whether the, the meaning is still the same. So far, what I can see as one uh, in Kashmiri language, they use alim to refer to the scholars, to somebody who has knowledge. Yes, that is the correct meaning of the word alim, which means the one who has knowledge. That is the correct meaning of the word alim. So we say alim, somebody who has knowledge. Alim ulama. Uh, ulama is actually the plural for this word alim. So it can be uh, a knowledgeable person in any field, not necessarily in religious knowledge. Okay, of course, most of the time we use the word alim to refer to religious knowledge. Uh, a person uh, who knows a lot about religion, yeah, we say alim. But you can use the word alim for other field. Alim in uh, what field? He is alim, he is an alim in technology. He is an alim in laws, for example. Yes, that is the word al-alim. But what we hear from Haifa and from Abdul Rahman, so this is what <laughs> the, the meaning is, the, the, not the correct meaning. So... People use the word alim to refer to those who are pious, those who are uh, religious, those who praise a lot. Alim, no, that is not the, the, the meaning of alim in Arabic. Yeah? The meaning of alim in Arabic is only for knowledgeable person. Okay, that is the first way of reading the word al-alimu. If I read the word, okay, let us write the word again. al -a, But this time I will read differently. Okay, this time I will read al alamu al alamu okay put the vowels al alamu al alamu then okay this is the these are the vowels al alamu lamu so this is the different al alamu al alimu so if you say al alam ah, this is not alim anymore this is a different word it means the world the world is called alam Alam. Okay, so it is a different word. So one word, they sometimes they can be read differently. They can be read differently. So that is why for us we need to have all these vowels. Yeah, very important. But for the Arabs, they know whether it is alim, whether it is alam. We they will they will look at the context. They will look at the sentence and they know immediately. Ah, this is alim. Oh, this is in the sentence. This is alam and whatnot. All right. So uh, once you are pro you you progress in learning Arabic. Later on, you will, be, you will be able to identify whether it is alim or alam. Okay, but at the moment, of course, we need all these vowels. Okay, now that is number one. Number two, okay, let me read the word. Al-ard. Al-ardu. Or I can just say al-ard. Al-ardu. Okay, al-ardu or al-ard means the earth. The earth. The earth that we live. Uh, it is al-ard. It is called al ard uh, you have this word in the quran al ardu khalaq al arda was sama earth and heaven okay so what are the vowels al ard what about the last letter the dot what what is that haifa i see your yours is reversed dhamma uh, well actually the last the last letter it can be any uh, it can be any vowel. It can be al-ardu, it can be al-arda, it can be al-ardi. Okay? But most of the time, 
we write it with a dhamma because that is the default sign, the default symbol of a word. Okay, so we just say al ardu. But if you put this word in a sentence, then you will see different different vowels, the ending, different ending. I mean, you will see different ending. Sometimes it is arda, sometimes it is ardi, right? But the meaning is still the same. That means the earth. Al ardu. Okay, al ardu. Okay, next word. Okay, listen, and then put the vowel. At tayru. At tayru. At tayru. At tayru. Okay, done. Okay, so let us check your vowel. At tayru. Here you have a shadda. At tayr. You have a sukun. And then the last letter, at tayr. At tayru. Okay, is yours correct? At tayru. Okay, so this is at tayru. At tayru means bird. The bird, the bird, at tayru. The bird. Bird, at tayru. Okay, next word. Next word. Okay. Okay, listen. Annamlatu. 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 Dan. Annamlatu. Alright, check your vowels. Annamlatu. Annamlatu. So you got it correct? Annamlatu. Okay, what is annamla? Annamla means the end. End. Okay, the end. Annamla. So you have the stories of ants in the Quran. The uh, uh, Nabi Sulaiman, Nabi Sulaiman, and the ants. So that is annamla. So the surah is is named uh, surah annamal, namal, eh? referring to the ants. So annamla is referring to one end, the end. Annamla. Okay. And the last word. Okay, yes. Now I want you to read this word. Oh, oh, sorry. Yes. What is this word? Al Masjid. Al Masjid. So I first said Al Masjid. Okay, what about the others? Aisha. How do you read the word Aisha? Masya Chin. Yes, sir. Aha. Al-Masjid. 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 Al okay. Al-Masjid. Okay. All right. Let's hear from uh, uh, Azwan. Yes, Azwan. How do you read this word? Al-Masjidu. Al Al-Masjidu. Okay. All right. Good. It is Al-Masjidu. Haifa, yours is wrong here. Because you read Al-Masjid, uh, that is the, the Malay way of, <laughs> of saying a word. You tend to uh, prolong the last part, the, the last syllable. Al-Masjid, everything ends like Masjid. It, it. In Arabic, no. It is very rare. You have, you have that, but it is very rare. Normally, you will say Al-Masjid. So very short, no long vowel. Yeah, no long vowel. We say Al Masjid, Al Masjid. Uh, just like Aisha said, Al Masjid. Yes. Okay, and Azwan said Al Masjid. Okay. If you say Al Masjid, then you will have to put a ya, yeah, which is wrong. Al Masjid. So this is how you write the word. Yeah, Al Masjid. Okay. So we have all the vowels, and you can determine on your own whether it is Qamariya or Shamsiya. For for the first one, for example, Al Alim. Al. Of course, it is Qamariya. The second one, Al, again, it is Qamariya. The third one, at tayru no lam sound. So this is Shamsiya. The fourth one, an nam latu, again, no lam sound. You go straight to the non. So this is another Shamsiya. <laughs> and the last one, Al, so this time you hear the lam again. So this is the Qamariya, right? So this is about the Alif Lam, Al Qamariya, and Alif Lam. Ashamsiya, yeah, Alif Lam Qamariya and Alif Lam Ashamsiya. All right, so that is our lesson for today. Yes, any question? So it is only about the Alif Lam, Alif Lam, Alif Lam. But yes. What is the meaning of Al Ardu? Al Ardu is the earth. Okay. Our earth is called Al Ard. Al Ard. 
So I believe the word earth is taken from the Arabic word. So similar, similar in sound, right? Earth, ar, earth, ar, ar. I'm not sure, but I believe because al ar is means mentioned in the Quran years ago, thousand years ago. Al ar, al ardu. So the earth. Yes. Yes. Any other question? No. All right. So if there is no question, let us stop here.